Greetings, future jackrabbits. You have just received your class registration materials from Mesa High. We look forward to having you at our school. Please look at the two sheets that are labeled Freshman Registration Information and Freshman Registration. This video will take you through the steps to successfully complete your class registration. You will need to bring this paperwork completed to your registration session. Please get out a pencil or pen so you can begin to complete your paperwork now. We will follow the step-by-step -step guide to fill in the registration form. Your first step is to complete your personal information at the top of the form. Be sure to print your full legal name, student number, birth date, phone number, and the junior high where you are attending now. At this time, you should also give your counselor an idea of your post-graduation plans and what career you are thinking of pursuing. A normal school day lasts from first period to seventh period, 8.15 a.m. to 3.15 p.m. Some students elect to take an extra class before the normal school day. This is called A hour and begins at 7 a.m. Some important items to note about A hour are, not all classes are offered during A hour, if you choose an extra class, that class will be assigned based on demand and availability. The buses do not run for a hour. You will need to provide your own transportation. If you want an extra class at 7 o'clock a.m., check mark yes, along with which reason you are choosing an a hour. As you begin to select your courses, notice that the form is separated in two columns. The column on the left contains your standard core classes. The column on the right contains honors options. If you plan to take an honors class, make sure you select your honors course in your strongest academic area or areas. Honors classes are a year-long commitment. You will need a teacher signature in each section in which you choose an honors option. In section 2, you will select your English class. Most of you will select EN09 Freshman English on the left. If you plan to take Honors English, select EN27 Honors English on the right. You will need to have your current English teacher sign in the teacher approval box on the right if you choose the honors option. In section number three, you will select your math class. Most of you will select MA27 Algebra, unless you are currently enrolled in an algebra class. In that case, you should select MA30 Geometry on the left or MA32 Honors Geometry on the right. If you are in Algebra right now and need to select Geometry or Honors Geometry, talk to your Algebra teacher about which choice is right for you. In this section, you will need your math teacher's signature in the teacher approval box on the right if you choose either Geometry or an Honors Math option. In section number four, you will select your science class. Most of you will select SC22, Physical Science. However, if you selected MA30 Geometry or MA32 Honors Geometry in section number three above, you should select SC49 Biology. Students may also select SC45 Honors Biology if you have passed your first semester of math and science classes this year with an A or B. Remember, you will need a current teacher's signature in each section in which you choose an honors option. In section number five, you will choose your social studies class. Most of you will select SS22 World History on the left. If you plan to take Honors World History, select SS28 on the right. If you plan to take AP World History, select SS50 AP World History on the right. AP classes are college level courses and you will be expected to take the AP Advanced Placement Exam at the end of the school year. Your AP exam score will determine the number of credits you can receive when you start college. Dual enrollment classes can provide you with an opportunity to obtain both high school and college credit at the same time. You will need to register for the college credit at the beginning of the school year. Classes with this symbol may be available for dual enrollment. The elective section of the form is organized differently from the above sections. In this section, you will need to select your elective classes in order of their importance to you. All freshmen are highly recommended to take the CE01 Career Explorations course. This is listed as number one on your form. Please refer to the Mesa High School elective course offering sheet. You will need to select at least one more one-semester elective. 
These electives have the letter S printed after the course name on the elective course offering sheet. Please fill the line on your registration sheet with the elective choices in order of your preference. Fill every line. Make a note of classes that are only offered to juniors or seniors, courses that require an audition, or courses that require a fee. Remember, if you want to get the Advanced Honor for Excellence Academic Seal, you must have three to four years of a foreign language. Also, if you are planning to attend a university, you will be required to take two years of the same foreign language. You will probably not have time to complete this section now. Make sure to fill this out before you turn in your forms. For students who want to try out for a sport, write the sport's names in the space provided. Actual placement for sports PE classes will be made after tryouts. Be sure to select a PE class placeholder to have until sports placements are made. Include your PE placeholder class in your elective choices. Your last step will be to take this form home and share the information with your parent. Please have your parent sign the form. Please note that classes offered at Mesa High are listed on the registration form and the elective course offering sheet. Course descriptions for these classes are available in the course catalog. However, not all classes in the course catalog are offered at Mesa High. We look forward to having you at Mesa High. Carry on, Jackrabbits!